Hey YouTube, this is Angie the Antitheist, and this video has absolutely nothing to do with religion. You've been warned. So as most of you probably know by now, my son has special needs. I've known this for a long time. Um, he was recently diagnosed with autism. I resisted the autism label for years because I didn't feel like it applied to my son because I didn't understand autism. So my ignorance has been corrected and now I'd like to share. <laughs> my son is incredibly affectionate. He, he wants multiple goodnight hugs and kisses from both me and dad every night before bed. He wants hugs before school. He, he's just, he spontaneously shows affection all the time. I thought this ruled out autism. I didn't realize it was possible for someone to be both physically affectionate and autistic. Totally is. I also didn't think my son could be autistic because he was so bright. My son's memory is astonishing. Uh, he's five and teaching himself how do you do fractions online because he can totally log on himself now. He is so clearly and obviously brilliant. He's reading, he can spell complex words, he knows, he's memorized how to spell dinosaurs because it's a favorite. I thought that these positive attributes, that these strengths that he had meant that he couldn't possibly have autism, which I understood as only being a delay and a deficit. Autism is not fully understood yet by scientists. We're still learning. So first there's that. But there's also this, autism is a label, the autism spectrum is a label used to define and describe people with communication and social skill delays. My son is affectionate, my son is a genius, my son is also autistic. All three of these can coexist in the same person. It was only my ignorance of autism that made me think this label couldn't possibly apply to my child who had speech delay, communication problems, sensory issues, does the sensory seeking behaviors. I mean, he does the full autism, you know, he does fit the spectrum. Now that I know more about which of his at home behaviors count as autistic, I realize how well this label fits him. Another thing, another reason I didn't think my son could possibly have autism was because I didn't vaccinate him when he was young. I bought into Jenny McCarthy's freaking hype. How dumb was I? I didn't have my son vaccinated. It wasn't until I'd seen that the only study linking MMR to 12 autistic children had been completely debunked that I did get my son his vaccines and he's now caught up. Um, I know for a fact that my son's autism was not caused by vaccines. His autism predates those. Furthermore, we know that nobody's autism is caused by vaccines. As for the rise in recent diagnoses of autism, things that used to be called pervasive de uh, developmental delay, things that used to be called undifferentiated language delay, people who qualified for those diagnoses, which are not getting used as much anymore, under the standards which we now use to define autism would count as autistic or be somewhere on the spectrum now. So it's not that we have a huge epidemic of lots, lots, lots more children having autism. We just, one, early diagnosis is better. And two, we're using the autism label instead of some of these more outdated ones. Now to Jenny McCarthy specifically, I need to say this. Every time you run around screaming that the government, the FDA, the evil, evil drug companies that make vaccines broke your kid, you are telling your son that you think he's broken. You, Jenny McCarthy, are telling your son that he's not good enough. You are the one doing that, not anybody else. Just wanted to make that perfectly clear. Now, let me also say, even if vaccines caused autism, which they don't, even if I have an autistic kid and you know what? Not that bad. I love my son. He is delightful. He is a fun, funny person 
with a kooky sense of humor. He is delightful. He is sweet. He is super smart. Okay, so he's got autism. Big whoop. He doesn't have mumps. He doesn't have polio. He's not dead. Autism does not kill. Vaccine preventable diseases do. These are child killing diseases. That's why we give children vaccines because those diseases are so awful. I could not live with myself if my son, during the three years he was not vaccinated, if my son had contracted mumps, measles, rubella, polio, any of the things I was not vaccinating against because I didn't want him to get autism, if he had come down with one of those and died, there is no way I could live with myself. I could not forgive myself if my son died a preventable death from my own ignorance. And I don't want any of your kids to die of ignorance either. Autism is not as bad as you think. Vaccines do not cause autism. Vaccine preventable diseases are child killers and worse than you think. Even if vaccines caused autism, I would still recommend getting your children vaccinated. Everybody in YouTube, have great godless, safe, healthy, neurotypical or atypical days. Have fun.